ladies and gentlemen, get ready for combos. Well, let's see how long the opponent lets us do cool things. Triggers. What is happening? Commanders. <laughs> In my opinion, the most broken deck you're going to see. Monkey. This is Historic Brawl. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CJB. Today in the arena, we are playing Rav Capuchin Ship's Mage. This is one of my all time favorite commanders in Historic Brawl because we get to play all kinds of historic spells at flash speed and we get to play all the lovely counters and other instant speed removal and effects that absolutely get me excited to play Magic the Gathering. I have some history with Raf. Raf and I won the Brawl Hall 3, the tournament that Merchant hosted a long time ago, that I define as the birth of the persona, the one in best of one. That That's where that kind of the sunglasses basically first showed up. So uh, the, the villain arc began there for those of you who like your covert go history. But here today, a lot has changed. We're still running it as a paradox engine combo. And before you guys in the comments throw a fit about paradox engine being legal, I'll just give you a heads up. We don't win any games in this video with paradox engine. We win with just good old fashioned blue white shenanigans, but it's there. The combo could happen. It could pop off and go crazy, and it can happen at instant speed, which is the cool thing that our commander enables. So I'm excited to play the deck. I'm always excited to play Raph, but I haven't done a video on him in years. Probably the best new addition to the deck is Invasion of Gobicon. Hit the opponent's hand, and you have an evasive three power commander that can flip the battle into the light shield array, which makes your commander very, very hard to deal with. It's my favorite new trick in the deck for sure. The games are always interactive and very exciting. But see, see me, it, what if you just played a Teferi commander? Is it? Mm, don't, no questions, no questions. Just play it, just have fun. Why don't you just have fun by not letting people have fun? It's going to be fun. I'm fine. This is fine. I would like to thank the sponsors of my videos. Coolstuffinc.com. Remember to use the promo code CGB5 when you pre-order your Ixalan products and you'll get a Covert Go Blue Dino Rider token as well. You've also seen the playmat. Go to coolstuffinc.com slash CGB to see that playmat bundle. It's sweet. Also, thank you to Moxfield, the number one deck building site on the internet, the host of all my deck lists. And thank you to Ultimate Guard for supplying all of the supplies, the protective products I need to keep my cards oily and fresh. Now let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. New discoveries await as we venture down into the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. All pre-orders come bundled with a brand new exclusive Covert Go Blue Dinosaur Token. Every single sealed product, commander deck, bundle, everything that's coming with the new set gets upgraded with a new Covert Go Blue token for free. Get your pre-orders in and see what awaits at the center of Ixalan. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. And one Espa Sentinel. Let's go. Soren the Dark Lord. Grixa stuff. Let's check your endurance. The little Ristic Buddy. To combat. Signet. We're on the move. You gonna do something? You gonna stop me? Sauron, Dark Lord. That works. I think I'll just try flashing in Wrath. If they counter it, good. Wrath is kind of the decoy of the deck to let me do my sneaky combo stuff at instant speed. Makes Karn look better. Could have responded to the Mind Stone. Okay. It <laughs> can double ramp here. That's pretty good. But I feel like they're holding up counters for something else. Like, do I try to Karn them? 
with that mind stone. Not yet. It's just a mind stone. Rusko. Karn will definitely have fun with this. But I think if I flash it in now, it might get countered. Let's go for the terminal. Ooh, no responses. Block. It's a clock showdown, baby. Let's see if our opponent wants to use their clock. And allow me to flash in Karn. No. They've got something, don't they? Got to be careful. Does feel like they know something. Makes me nervous. This is on their upkeep, by the way. Sure. Resolves! We're doing it. Their artifacts don't work. No attacks. Oh, we're, 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 there was a stop there. That makes sense. I was going to say, I was I kind of wanted this attack. Out of there, Rusko. One card. So, may I have my counter? Counter? Hmm? Hmm? Why are you, why are you sticking? Lotus. Nice. I'm going to beat you up with this network terminal. That's my jam. Some solutions must be built. 12 life. Very aggressive network terminaling. That way, if they spend a lot of their mana on this hive, what? You need six mana to recast commander. We're going to come up a mana short. Oopsie. All right. Tick tock. Punch him with a 5-5. Five five. Awaken. Ugh. Love dialing up that pressure. Don't get no good ideas. Just keep taking damage till it's over. Sauron. The Dark Lord. Here's Wrath. Now remember, we cast a spell here, they get a, an amass. So, what's the play? If I animate you, sack Karn, commit, do I have enough mana for all that? I think I do. Oh, say hello to my it does unlock... Mmm. Has to be legendary. It does unlock their freaking artifacts. So if they have something, this could be a huge mistake. A huge mistake. Getting rid of the Karn. We go for it. Can't have you guys saying I missed lethal. Oh, it has to be a creature? Thought it could be Karn. That sucks. <laughs> now I can't have lethal. Well, I should hold the commit then. I'm sorry, just... Like, for me, Historic, I'm running a Historic Permanence deck. 
like planeswalkers are historic legendary creatures it's <laughs> back in the deck please ah stop since when did they have all these good cards bs all right we're up to 10 Take it for the time twister. Okay. I'm invading Gobakan. What you got? So their clock is on 10. They only get one turn with these cards. You want to make something cost a little more? Should probably just make it the most expensive thing. Well, the file doesn't seem very good for them for a long time. I know what they'll want to play the most is the thought sees, right? I guess I'll just hit that. Curse your Sauron. I have mana up to activate the clock. But I also get it for free on my upkeep, so it's not exactly the plan. You got me. I, I wouldn't pay that two life for cards that are going away anyhow. But that's me. no reason to go for ticking the clock here with my leftover mana in case it, you know, didn't do what we want it to do. Let's wait for the trigger to go on the stack. Fresh seven for them. So let's see if they can stop a fresh seven for me. Interesting. Oops. Not sure what that means. Mmm. That's a lot of land. That is not great. If I cast you, how much do I have left? Not much. I guess we wait. I will not tail's end. <laughs> it's a big dark lord. Uh, before I resolve that trigger, let me see if my tail's end works. It does. So we'll keep the curse. Or will we? Yeah, we will. Hold. Implies they have removal. So let's wait till end step, because it might be sorcery based. It's Grixis. Of course they have removal, but they only have three mana open. Tails end. Who would use such a card? Face. Sundering. Game. Whoosh, whoosh. Outmaneuvered. This hand is a lot of fetching against Tamio. 
I think we need better interaction than that. There's a bunch of, I don't know which artifacts we have. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can keep it. This isn't good either. Brainstorm has to really carry the way. At least it has the Elspeth Conqueror's death, but it's going to be too slow. Wash away, wash away. Wash it away. Nobody remembers that song. Let the salt water wash it away. Uh, Kazmina, Enigma Sage, Scry to the top, we be. Let's see if our hand is getting good. It gets better. I mean, this is just kind of smooth, right? We'll at least hit with our trophy mage. The problem is, if we do this, play the trophy mage, opponent plays the Tamiyo. If Poe plays a Tamiyo, how do we get rid of it? <laughs> it might just ultimate, we might just lose. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we can't sit back and have no battlefield for the rest of the game. Now we don't draw the God Pharaoh statue. That feels nice. They've got the untapped land. They did not play Tamiyo. The Perfected Mind. Win. The Mill Jace. But in Uwu art. I know where to find sure. All the so I get to attack with my Trove Mage? That's Pog. Okay then. Minus eight. Yep. What you're thinking won't work. I'm gonna be bold because I have Rivers Rebuke. I could explain what I'm about to do, but I'd rather show than tell. Give me a minute. Esper Sentinel might cause some trouble. Jace is good against it, though. Jace, don't let me do that. A world of monsters. Look at the oops all planeswalkers over here. Focus on the future. <laughs> you think do you think they're gonna make it? You think they're going to endure? I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to leave. You tough? We got a we got a serious gamer, a never give up, never surrender gamer over here. Now, how's it feel to be down a planeswalker on board? Eh? Okay, the one. For the sake of fires. Mill me. We can improve upon sure. ideas. Sure. I just... I attack it and it dies. <laughs> okay. Sure. Your victory is an illusion. Nothing more. Bam, bam, bam. Wash away open, or an instant speed. Juari disruption, play your farewell, play your wrath. I'm ready. It's a pretty good card, do you pay the one? You do? <laughs> that was the last straw. That took him over the edge. Two games, no combos. Just good old-fashioned blue-white BS. Sarkin, Wanderer, Shiv, Dragons. Go first with land tax. 
go first with Esper Sentinel. I sound like I'm like building meme templates. Ooh, I do feel like I struck it rich, especially drawing a Karn. Boing. Don't kill it. They probably should kill it. It's going to be another one of those games where we're just trying to figure out who can get a planeswalker down. Trove Mage as well. But Power Stone is the way. Here's Commander. So plus one is like draw ship and dragon and plus one can also be dragons become cheaper. Yep. So what do we do? Five loyalty is so much. Five mana. Let's start using the tome. See if we can get some good options here. Assault strobe. Perfect. Worship the masters of the sky. Opportunistic dragon that steals an artifact. They can't use it. Just steals it. We kill it, we get it back. And it's sushi. Okay, rebuke. Wee. I'm glad I'm good at magic. It'd be really hard if I wasn't. Yep. They should have taken the power stone. They keep taking the tome. I need to minus to fairy. The fairy about to die, I think. I'm not sure exactly what artifacts I'll hit. So mana value three is probably just a rock if it's not tome. Let's see what we can find. Foreign. Like I mean, you can mess with the tome. It's not great. Let's see what we find with the Trove Mage. Metamorph. Copy of any permanent on the battlefield, except it's an artifact. Hi, Matsushi, the blazing sky. Spider-Man meme. Okay, now there are too many memes in this channel. Blade Wing. That makes another 4-4. Oh, and scoops all four fours here. Yeah, I'll trade. Let's go. What you want? I'll exile top two. We get lands. They get treasures. Let's see what they do with it. Shondra. Pretty good card. This little candle's gonna set your world on fire. The one ring, you say? Pretty good. A second here, a second there. Who's counting? We need to play the Karn. They can just attack it. Verdict. Now we're cooking. I don't want to lure in the tome. I want it back. So I guess we hold up wash away. No. It's not going to counter anything. Play the trophy mage. We have protection from everything. Poor Teferi is going to die. Let's get the clock. Let's 
bring things up to a simmer. Here comes our dragon friend. These dragons are hungry. Conjuring shivens. Paragon of draconic glory. Some smack talk there. Okay. I mean, guess you're sure. Guess you were sure. It's fine. Only time will tell. I cast Assault Strobe. Double Strike. <laughs> Good. We got a Lightning Strike out of them when we were about to blow these creatures away anyhow. Tome recovered. I guess I should leave up the wash away. Nah. Ramp, tome, and ring. It's not about counter spells. It's about being overpowering. Besides, our opponent has two planeswalkers. They don't have to put anything on the stack to be, have a good turn. And if we counter a dragon, they just cast another one. More dragon. Predator descends. More dragon. Uh, four spike? Any four spikes? Nope. Aw, you're looking a little singed. Don't forget to pump it. Louder. Amber is here. Rift. Ooh, they lived through a rebuke. Can they handle a rift? Karn's Temporal Sundering. All these things are pretty good. Ooh, okay. Karn. Sunder. One, two, three. Scrapyard. Uh, I mean, just rifting them is probably good enough, right? Maybe. Although one ring, let them lean in even more is pretty good. They can't ultimate, they can't ultimate. Tick-tock. Time is on my side. More dragon. No better ally than a dragon. Ping. Let's bring things up to a simmer. Yep. Yep. Time do I save you? Let's see how he, let's see how convenient it is to save you. It's not like you're doing a ton. Two dark rituals. Let's uh, try the ring. Okay, Karn, it's looking inconvenient, buddy. I'm just gonna turn you into something else. Nice. Another beautiful card. Immortal Sun? Seems good. Oh, Lord.
I feel like I'm cooking in this one. What's Mono Red gonna do about it? Siobhan Dragon stuff? Dragon. <laughs> They've got one move and it's Dragon. Tome, 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 tome. The spike. We're up to seven on the clock. I think it's over. Just got to find the paradox engine. That I've totally put in the deck, right? It'd be really funny if I've forgotten. Eight on the clock. Welp. Might as well just use our cards. Next dragon? No. Conjure? Giant freaking growth, baby. And uh, one ring, where'd you go? Oh, you're tapped. Interface becoming awkward. Terminal. Conjure. Lightning bolt. Raw. Teferi. Seems fine. Immortal Sun myself. Don't mind me. It's fine. All by design. Where are we at on clock? 10. Glory bringer. Laps. Put it back on top of that demanding dragon. All right. Job is done. Success. Oops, all white cards. <laughs> Esper Sentinel turn one is the theme of the day. Two hands, no islands. Sounds like a problem. Come and get it. Okay, hard mode. Not even your commander? Top deck. Yeah, nope, that's the wrong color. So is that. That's not. You can try throwing out Raph at instant speed. Opponent's gonna get back a braid. Yeah. Annoying. <laughs> sure. Sure. <clears throat> they shouldn't counter it, and they don't. The one ring. The one ring a ding ding. I need cards. That's what I thought.
Pretty good. Metamorph? Gotta try to wait for a window. They'll probably counter this. I was really hoping they'd try something on end step there, but now at least they have less cards this turn. Activate that vault, activate that vault. Beautiful! Should have abraded my commander when you had the chance. Just wait till they see what happens when Narset's on the field. <laughs> you know, assuming we ever have a second blue in our life. And recast. Three mana open so they can loot here. They don't loot. Uh, you just got taxed. So what do we do to them while they're taxed? You can draw a discard now. Oh, oof, Jesus. Even through the Elspeth Conqueror's death, but at least we get it next turn. And then we have double blue. So maybe we can get a Narset down while they value Gasm over there. It's probably going to be too late. Ten life. Tax wears off. The fairy comes out. Slowing things down is just as delightful as speeding. I mean, I can try to rebuke them. I think the odds are pretty good that it won't work. But let's try. At this point, all or nothing. They crack it, and they lightning bolt wrath. Good. They still have two mana up, don't they? And there's holding on a braid. Yeah, just show me the counter so I can leave. Not yet. Okay. Unfortunately, Riel is back. Vault is back. They're just using it now. I need some way to keep the Narset defended from the Riel. I need one more way to get it off the field. If I have that right here, right now, we have a chance. Why'd they leave? Why on earth did they leave? First sliver. Five color, rando trash, avoiding hell cue. Cause if they play Golos or Kenrith or Niv, that's where they'd be. And by trash, I mean it's the best cards in the game, so you might be able to catch that I'm being sarcastic. But some of you just don't, some of you just, just miss. You just whiff on the sarcasm, and I just have to be here like, hmm, okay. Uh, what are we doing? 
Am I holding up a Jawari? Am I invading Gubakan? It's a tough call. We get to Jawari a ramp card. I think that's good and one of the our best ways back into the game. Mm, forget that. Opponent, opponent came prepared. Okay. Thanks for the manual taps. Arena. Now they know what I've got. And the Jawari won't work anyway because they have an untapped land. Must be nice. Must be nice. What'd they get? Nothing they want to play. Just a 7 7. Casual 7 7. Five mana. Could play the Lotus. Could play the Lantern. Just ramp to the moon. Take a hit. They get to do whatever they want for a turn. And then we try to recover. Could also play Lotus and invade Gobicon. But they probably have enough mana to cast right through it. So it's more about getting the battle at this point. Let's just pass. Flash deck be flashy. If I get a chance to get Raft down, I'll feel good about it. Tommy War. No. We're not doing that. Narset. Narset memory. But I don't have the right colored mana. And if I play it this turn, I can't protect it or from the first sliver. So I need to flash in the Narset after I play Raph. can do it all next turn let's see if okay that resolved let's see if they can stop me from killing their paradise druid which i have wrath of god sure <laughs> i love this that's wonderful for me all right sweet Play out Norn's disassembly. Go ahead and activate. Swords. That's a good card. Oh, it's like, well, I cascade, so into the north. What? <laughs> Nice. Ew. Discard the land to get the other land we want to play. Play key to the archive. Any of these good? Not really. Carn it up. What you got? Cultivate. Love that. And now we just begin the long, slow death process for the opponent. Why did it tap my blue? <laughs> why, do, why does it think I need all that white mana? Awaken. Ooh, 
Ulamog. Oh, that's a cool, cool ability. Be a shame if something were to happen to it. All right, uh, let's conjure something, shall we? I love that the legendary lands let me do that. It's kind of fun. Elspeth conquers death. <laughs> there is great power in the things you make. The one ring. Protection from everything, but watch out for that Narset. Okay, they played around it. I was I was worried about him. Oh, they can't activate it because of Karn. <laughs> nice. Power nine. Could just beat him to death. Let's send the Lotus to do the job. Oh yeah, protection from everything. I'm I'm a I know what I'm doing. I play magic all the time. <laughs> Frequent magic flyer over here. All right, what you got for a cascade? We got Key to the Archive. They have one card in hand and it doesn't work because of Karn. I guess they can cast whatever they get. They're thinking And they keep... They threw away a land. Do I care about 7-7? Seven, seven? What am I about to get back? Nothing. So I have to sack it. I'll sack the soul. Then I'll get that back. Let's uh, do that first. I can also reload the Narset. Ooh, I like that. Metamorpho One Ring. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Keep an open mind. verdict. Time walk. That doesn't seem fair. Stand by and watch. Here goes nothing. Uh, beat him up. Oh. Bottom. Who needs islands? Well, lots of these games without islands. Not sure what that emote's supposed to imply. I don't see any other ways to get damage. Is it enough? It's pretty close. I guess they have a ring out, but it doesn't have any counters on it. Dang it! How are they not dead? I have just the trick for this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> these cards are great, right? Hard to decide. There's the Sundering. One, two, three, four. Okay. Cancel. Blue. Bounce. Mox. Sunder. And a Ruby for, you know. Because we can. Game. Oh, blue white smash and bash, baby. You don't need a paradox combo. You just need some broken cards. The one in best of one. Do you love him? Oh, yeah. 
Envy him? Híjole, madre de Dios. Despise him. Yet admire him. Whether you are a student of the dojo or a salty mono red scrub, head over to Moxfield, the official home for all of my deck lists. Whether you're here for standard, brawl, or both, see all of my deck lists from the videos on this channel. Study the curve, see an example hand, or do a virtual play test. Whether you're trying to beat the one or study your sensei, find everything you need at Moxfield. Moxfield.com, the best site for Magic the Gathering decks on the internet. Hey guys, it's that time again. Covert Go Travel. This trip is a little different. It's not a Magic Con and it's not um, Command Fest. It's actually a two-part trip. First, I'm going to BlizzCon. I'm going to BlizzCon to hang out with Rarin and learn more about Hearthstone. They're interested. Is this going to be a Covert Go Hearthstone channel? Probably not, but let me know in the description if that's something you're interested in. I'm sure Blizzard is interested in it. After BlizzCon, and maybe if you see me there, there, you're welcome to say hi it's not a public appearance i'm attending as a just guest i don't have any agenda though but hey if we uh if you happen to see me say hello there's nothing wrong with saying hi after that i'm flying out to canada the great north where i'm filming with elder dragon hijinks some commander games for a few days so that's early next week and then i'll be back i'll be flying back on the day of early access so i will be landing at about 5.30 in the afternoon of early access day, coming straight home and firing up the computer and recording some early access Lost Caverns of Ixalan content, which will be on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel uh, probably on Monday. At least that's the plan, if everything goes according to plan. So on Tuesday, that is the Ixalan release. That is the 14th of November on Arena, and I will probably do a release stream. The last one where really well and we will dive in and check out these sweet Ixalan cards together and then we'll have a brand new standard however because I had to record about 10 videos in the span of three days and because honestly standard didn't inspire me much right now I feel like I've been there done that with everything that's currently in standard and bashing my head on a mono red just didn't sound fun I made a bunch of historic brawl videos so from now, uh, the day that I'm filming this, uh, Halloween, the 31st, until the 14th of November, which is when Ixlon is released, it's a historic brawl channel. We're going historic brawl. Uh, I had a whole bunch of videos I was happy to make, commanders I was happy to update or play for the first time. And if you love historic brawl, I, I think you're going to love those videos. If you don't, you're you're, let's be honest, you're not still here. I don't have to worry about the haters. It's just cool kids here right now, guys. Isn't that nice? Just cool kids. So uh, if you enjoy the Historic Brawl content, make sure that you tell your friends about them. Hit the share button if you have somebody to send it to. Hit And always hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment that you love Historic Brawl. That helps encourage me to continue making the videos. I'm very excited to uh, see how a, a, like a week plus of Historic Brawl video does while Standard is, well, let's, let's be real. Standard is definitely chilling right now. I, we've been there, seen there, done, done that on Standard. Standard. And hopefully Exelon will shake it up a bit. I think that what the format needs is some dinos. All right, that is going to be the outro. You'll probably hear it a few times. That's because I'm traveling. Uh, but always, no matter what, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.